Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP, but I got to start with the big story of the day. Coinbase sues the SEC seeking regulatory clarity for crypto. Uncertain regulations have been the highlight of the U.S. crypto market. This sentiment has even pushed several out of the country. The stringent oversight of the SEC in particular has brought immense stress to the market. You know why? Because Gary's not looking out for who he's supposed to be looking out for. Me and you, the retail investor. Instead, Gary's looking out for the big banks. And he's crushing crypto along the way. But Meta Lawman put this suit into perspective. Take, I'll sh share it with all of you. Here's what you should know about the Coinbase suit against the SEC. This will move fast, unlike the Ripple case. This case begins in the appellate court, not the trial court. There will be no discovery, depositions, and document exchange. Just briefing and a hearing. So it's going to move very fast. And Coinbase has an all-star legal team as well. Coinbase is seeking a writ mandamus, which is a court order compelling the SEC to do its job and announce a decision on Coinbase's request for rulemaking. This action does not necessarily affect the SEC's timing for suing Coinbase as it has threatened to do. I expect major industry players to pile in with amicus briefs supporting Coinbase's position. We might also see the House Financial Services Committee or individual members come in with briefs in support of Coinbase. So this could get very big very quick. The SEC commissioners will have to approve any response to Coinbase's action. There's a tiny chance the SEC will blink and agree to engage in rulemaking. If just one commissioner withdraws their support for Gary Gensler's regulation by enforcement strategy, he's done. Now, we know Hester Pierce was very criticizing of the SEC and the direction they were taking, but it'll take more than just her. It's her and one more person. But if Gary had to resign, crypto would go parabolic. Will Binance support Coinbase? So although Binance fully supports Coinbase's writ of mandamus against the SEC, the leading crypto exchange fears its involvement in the discussion could be counterproductive to its operations. Come on, Binance. You know, CZ's always out there talking about how he's fighting for all of crypto. And, you know, he's doing what's best for the retail investor. Well, if that's the case, get behind Coinbase. Support them. Give them your full support. Come on, Binance. Do the right thing. Here's how Coinbase suing the SEC helps Ripple in its case. In addition to regulatory clarity that Coinbase's lawsuit could provide, it may also have a direct impact on the legal battle between Ripple and the SEC. As XRP community attorney Johnny Deaton explained via Twitter, it's the second writ mandamus filed in relation to crypto. I love the petition because I filed crypto's first writ mandamus when I sued the SEC asking a judge to order the SEC to do its job and amend the Ripple complaint to include only direct sales by Ripple, Deaton remarked. But beyond that, Coinbase's lawsuit against the SEC has yet another significance for Ripple. Attorney Bill Morgan argued that Coinbase, like Ripple, relied on the Hinman speech, in which he made a purported ruling for the second largest cryptocurrency, Ethereum. Whether the argument is powerful remains to be seen. As Morgan explains, the SEC claims that the Hinman speech was about personal views of the former department head. To date, no court has found that Hinman's speech was an official SEC statement. We know it was an official statement. That's how Ethereum got a free pass. That's why it's so important to get those documents out to the public so we could all point out the corruption going on at the SEC. Now, Ripple is considered pulling out of the U.S. amid ongoing battle with the SEC and regulatory pressure, says company spokesperson. Maybe this will turn crypto around, this case with Coinbase versus the SEC now. And that would be a good thing. We want to keep innovation in this country. We don't want to be pushing it out of the country on a daily basis. Russia unveils new payment system 
that enables unrestricted cross-border payments. So the Russian financial minister elaborated that they are launching a payment system based on digital financial assets. He said the payment system would enable two parties to reach an agreement, make payments, and prevent any national interference. You know, I just did a video yesterday where I showed you how India, one of the BRICS countries, is use, using RippleNet. I think that Russia and China will most likely end up using it as well. Maybe they'll use XRP in between as that trust layer. We'll have to wait and see. Then Ripple CTO disproves the belief that XRP hit an all-time high of $3.84. David Schwartz, the CTO of Ripple, recently disproved the commonly held notion that XRP hit $3.84 as its all-time high value on January 4th, 2018. Despite data from numerous sources suggesting this, Schwartz disclosed that in a series of tweets, a synonymous member of the XRP community had shared a snapshot with the data revealing that XRP's all-time high was at $3.84. However, Schwartz disputed this. According to the XRP ledger architect, this value is misleading because it takes the official Korean won exchange rate into account. So was XRP's all-time high $3.84? He's saying it wasn't. And why is he saying it right now? I think we're seeing a lot of FUD around XRP right now, right before a major run-up. So Forbes questions if Ripple is round-tripping XRP just like Wirecard. Now, round-tripping refers to transactions between companies that make it look like revenue is bigger than it actually is. This accounting trick it can effectively pad the books to make an income statement look more attractive to investors. It can also inspire confidence among participants in the digital asset industry, which had a bad 2022 after billion-dollar bankruptcies like FTX, Terra Luna, Celsius, and Voyager. You know, I don't think this is happening at all around XRP, but again, Right before a major run, a lot of FUD comes. It shakes out the weak hands. You gotta hold strong. And I'm gonna share something with you right now because this is very big. So I posted this before and I, pro I probably wasn't the first, but people remember what was said last, not first. You're welcome, XRP. We may also see Ripple XRP moving across the SWIFT network as a currency, perhaps using something like FX. Take a listen. Uh, as well, but we may also see Ripple XRP moving across the SWIFT network as a currency when we're perhaps using something like FX. Remember I said in previous videos, I still think SWIFT and Ripple are going to work together. Most likely, Ripple will allow SWIFT to utilize that on-demand liquidity in the future, because if not, SWIFT will end up failing. They'll be gone within five years because Ripple is going to continue to steal business away from SWIFT in the future. Then there's this. We moved $50 million in XRP in like two seconds, and it costs 30 cents. It is amazing. Michael Ar Arrington, take a listen. Like, yeah, people, the tribalism in this industry is insane. So there, there's Bitcoin maximalists, there's every, but everybody agrees, like, you know, XRP sucks, and, and I, I, actually, I don't really get it, right? I mean, it's, they're a legitimate company, they don't pretend to be something they're not, and they're really good at one thing, moving money fast and cheap. And um, it's fantastic, it fills a big need. And for a hedge fund like us to be able to denominate in Ripple, in XRP, I just did the same thing, uh, <laughs> Is, is really, really, really good. We did our first close. Uh, we moved north of four, $50 million into the company in Ripple, in XRP, in like two seconds, and it cost 30 cents. Now, that is amazing. The only There's no way to do that with fiat or Bitcoin. There's just no way to do it. That Take notice, he said, there's no way to do that with fiat or Bitcoin. On top of that, you got to look at what you're investing in. That's it. Right there, moving money on a daily basis, 365 days a year. So whenever you have any doubts about your investment, just remember, this is one cryptocurrency that can set you financially free. And I'll tell you right now, it is coming. 
Ripple was the first enterprise company that I met at Morgan Stanley, and they are trying to solve a problem. Caitlin Long, former director at Morgan Stanley. Take a listen to what she had to say. Ripple was the first enterprise company I met with, and they are trying to solve the problem. Had they come into the talk about Bitcoin, they wouldn't have gotten a meeting. That's how the banks look at Bitcoin. But yet, yeah, Bitcoin maxis are out there selling the idea that somehow Bitcoin's going to be tied to that new financial system. It's going to replace the U.S. dollar at some point. I said it in almost every video from day one. You know, all the Bitcoin maxis are doing is getting retail investors wrecked because they come in and they're investing. And they, what are they possibly going to get out of Bitcoin at a time like this? Maybe a 6 to 10x. And that's in a major run. Then what happens after that? What happens when utility kicks in all throughout the world and Bitcoin becomes irrelevant in the future? Those people will still be stuck in Bitcoin, waiting for another run. And that run may never happen again. Things are changing. Utility is taking over. XRP and XRP Ledger tokens step up to revolutionize e-commerce with Zoom. Check this out as well. Zoom makes a giant leap in e-commerce. Now integrate it with Equid by Lightspeed HQ. One million plus stores can offer seamless, secure XRP ledger payments, boosting cross-border and cross-currency transactions. That is going to be massive. And you know, a lot of value is going to come from the XRP ledger as well. Then I had to share this because I did a video where I talked about the banks being unstable. And people kept saying in the comments section, you don't know what you're talking about. The banks are totally going to be safe. So just in, First Republic Bank share price plunges over 50% as it lost more than $100 billion in customers' deposits. And yet people still think the banks are safe. That's why crypto is a far better investment. Get your money out of the bank and invest it in something that will help you hedge against inflation because inflation is going to continue upward it's not going to come down and the fed could come out with all the magical numbers that they want to push on to the normies of the world but we know better you go to the grocery store you go get gas prices are still going up and if anything things are shrinking but you're paying the same price that's why xrp is a great investment it will give you financial freedom in the future but with that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.